Hello everybody. Oh, I feel like I haven't done this in absolutely ages. Um, basically, I'm going to start vlogging again. Uh, I really enjoy it. Um, but I kind of realised a couple of times around that children and, and just life, it was too busy. Editing takes so, so long. Um, but now that Jude is at school, um, as well as Malone, I've got so much time on my hands. So I thought, why not give it a go? Because then I can just dedicate a lot more time to editing and videoing. So I thought for uh, a first video, I would do some of my uh, October favourites. I've recently gone out and bought a couple of little bits. Um, we're in the process of, uh, well, we've sold our house and um, we are buying a new house so I don't I haven't really wanted to spend a great deal of money on new clothes because obviously money goes on more important things at the moment but um, the things I have bought uh, I feel like I've um, picked some statement pieces which I feel like I can use throughout um, autumn and winter and that I can keep using them and then that way I don't feel like I have to buy any more I can just maybe um, wear different jumpers and things that I've already got um, and bits like that. So we'll get started. Uh, first of all, uh, what should we do first of all? The clothes. Um, autumn is by far my favourite uh, season. I just love it. I love everything about it. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the summer. I think I made that quite clear in my Insta stories. It gets a little bit too hot for my liking. Anything over about 25 degrees and I've just become a sweaty mess. <laughs> so it's fine when you're on holiday, obviously, because you've got a pool and air conditioning and alcoholic beverages on hand. Um, but in Britain, we don't, we're not built for that. So yeah, anything over 25 degrees and I've become a bit of a hot, angry mess. Um, so autumn is perfect for me. I get to layer up, uh, winter in particular, I get to layer up and wear just cosy jumpers and stuff. And I think, or I feel there's nothing nicer than um, at a weekend uh, or half terms or whatever, is it being really, really cold outside, going out, like wrapped up, you're like cold to your bones, um, having a hot chocolate or whatever when you're out. But when you come back, you can like have a bath and, just get under blankets and get cozy and have more hot chocolate and make a movie night and you put lamps on and candles and stuff so autumn and winter are by far my favorite seasons so i love um dressing for it i think a lot of people do actually but whatever okay right um we'll start with clothes shall we um this is one of them this is i love it i just love it one because it's loose um and it just hides my belly. <laughs> so this, I'll stand up. It's just a, um, a floaty dress and it kind of comes, it's really difficult to kind of show you, isn't it? But basically, it's like mid length, I guess. And um, I just love it. And I think from what I remember, I'm sure it was only about 13 pound in Primark which I think is an absolute bargain. And I just love the detailing on it. I think it's so, so pretty. And it's it's just loose and it's nice. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm burping. Um, so it's loose and it's nice and I can just, I can eat and not worry about it being tight. We might as well talk about the second thing actually. Coffee, flavoured coffee in the winter. Pumpkin spice latte. It, it, we all wait for that to come out, don't we? It's just the best. Right, okay, second thing. Again, Primark. It's just a black, we wouldn't even call it turtleneck. It's just like a slightly comes up onto your neck, kind of about there. But it's quite a nice, thick, fitted jumper really um it actually feels really good quality considering i think it was about 10 pound um and I, I love it i've worn it a couple of times and it's just really cozy and i've put, paired that with these 
these are leather wet look leggings they look huge don't they uh, but they are mint velvet I went for a medium which if I'm honest are a tiny little bit big um, but then I don't think I'd have fitted into a small so I don't know but anyway um, they're really really nice um, they move easily um, and things like that the only thing I would say is maybe they were 29 pound and I feel like maybe it didn't need to be that much does that make sense because some shops I mean like new look and things like that I think are about 15 I could be wrong don't quote me on that but I think they might be I know this has got like quite a high waistband so it's really nice it comes right up onto your stomach but I did feel that they were quite expensive um, so when I was in town uh, I bought these ones slightly different material but there's a benefit to these they've got like almost like a fleece lining so they're really really warm um, and I'm in Maidstone so I bought them from a local independent shop called Babes Aloud I think they're called a uh, really nice girl who owns the shop um, and it's nice to sort of support independent shops especially with what's going on at the moment so they were 12 pound that's more like it um, and they fit really 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 nice really nice very crazy aren't they <laughs> but um they're really good i like the leather look trousers and then a white shirt i think they call it a popping shirt i could be wrong i'm sure it's called a popping shirt popping popping but anyway i really liked it i haven't worn it yet I thought that would look really, really nice. And I've got some gold necklaces, um, quite tight. So I thought I'd put them along there. Um, and I could wear that with the wet look leggings or jeans, either really. But I thought that was really, really nice. 11 pound. So again, proper bargain. Again, I haven't worn this either. <laughs> um, I wanted a long cardi. Can you see that? This one's... Um, from H&M 1799 I think that'll go really nice with that white shirt or just tucked in t-shirt and those wet look leggings either really but I just I really like it because it's super soft um, perfect color because I love camel and I just think that'll be really nice to wear as it gets a little bit colder as well with a nice little sort of scarf around it smart and then this I love this I love this this little jumper I love the detailing on it it's so cute but it's also on the arms as well my only gripe about it is that it's quite short in the body and I've still got mum tum five years on so um, I wear high-waisted jeans with it um, or those wet look leggings either um, or maybe a nice skirt but I feel like with, with me in particular I have to wear something high-waisted to go with it because it isn't that long in the body I wouldn't say it's tank top but it's it's not as long as maybe I'd have liked it and I think that was about 13 pound which is an absolute steal isn't it and I love that I think they did that in cream as well but I think the greys so much nicer I just love that really 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 wanted a checked coat double-breasted it's not a coat it's like a blazer and um, it's really nice I wore it out for a meal the other night to see a friend and I really liked it I just wore it with that black sort of knit jumper and my wet look leggings and um, it looked really really nice I just love it I think it's really really nice and it was absolute bargain as well it's 25 pound but I had some H&M code so I got it for like 22 pound so it's just a bargain in it so and again the bits I can just carry it all through the winter and the autumn and then last but not least this different shades of green houndtooth long skirt really flowy it's 
so I got this when I was out down in Canterbury with Poppy um, and it was tied in with the black jumper black jumper was tucked into it and I thought oh, I like that I'm gonna get it so again I think that was 13 pound um, and they're just you know if they only last one season it doesn't matter does it I haven't spent a fortune on them so it's it's just worth it I think personally so they are my clothes that I really like and then to wear them with is the old faithful <sighs> my Doc Martins they're just so comfy so warm and they go with all of this chunky boots are really in at the moment aren't they so uh, they go with it all don't have to worry and then with the dress, pair of tight, uh, with the dress or the skirt, tights, Doc Martens, sorted, done, love it. I got these last year actually down at the Ashford Outlet. I think they were something like 90 pounds rather than 145. So if you're after Doc Martens, I'd definitely head to one of the designer outlets and get them because why would you pay full price? Right, other items. Um, I've got two of these. We went to the New Forest in the summer while we could before everything then sort of went back downhill again. Um, and the cottage that we stayed in, the lady um, provided a candle um, by a local lady. And so when I come back, I ordered a couple. One I've been melting downstairs at the moment, burning, which is oh, vanilla and orange, I think. And then I've got this one, which I keep up in the bedroom. I've only just lit it, actually. It's now gone out because I've blown on it. Um, but they're New Forest candles, and it's called Calm. And basically, it's just vanilla. I'm not a fan of vanilla at all. But I think because it's got, like, other essential oils or something in it, yeah, oh, it's just so nice. It's so, so good. So, that's candle. And it's they're just, they're so nice. So nice really good I've just done another video on these basically but the new body shop cbd range is it's just it's so good it feels so luxurious on the skin it's just ridiculous the oil is just it's amazing um so this is the full set well, it's not a set you buy them separately but this is the full range so it's the cbd soothing oil balm cleansing mask really really nice so you um you use it daily like a face wash but it is a more of a mask and um, it doesn't remove makeup but it's amazing and then you follow on with the cbd restoring facial oil i it's amazing it's so nice and so good and it's just got this really sort of spa like smell it's just oh, so good and then I follow on with the CBD Replenishing Moisture Cream, which again, it's just, it's so good. It's so, so good. Um, and then this isn't new, but this is my signature fragrance of winter. I just, I love it. Um, and it's running low um, and worryingly, is quite expensive <laughs> so I think it's gonna have to be put on my Christmas list um, rather than something I would just buy unfortunately um, but it's Diptyque Du Son and it's just it is the best perfume it's oh, it's the best it's so good oh, it just reminds me of winter and it's um, how can I describe this also, it, it, I imagine it's what a Parisian castle smells like, like a, a princess living in France, in Paris. Um, it's just, it's such a unique smell and the bottles are stunning. It has like a print inside, look how much there's left, that's so sad. It's really sad, but they're just the best. Um, probably my most favourite perfume ever. I just, I'm going to be gutted when that runs out. It's just, it's the best. 
makeup wise um i haven't really changed any of my makeup i kind of i don't tend to wear a great deal um i'm filming today so i have got some slap on um but one thing in particular i am loving is the body shop mascara it's so good at separating lashes i think it's got quite a big um wide brush head so it's um it's just really good at separating lashes it's just it's really really good um so i really like that they call that the super volume mascara and i just i think it's really good for separating lashes and making them look big and opening your eyes and making them look really good so that as well and then these aren't really fashion or or anything like that i mean we're talking about favorites here so I started this last night and I'm already hooked. Snowflakes and Cinnamon Swirls at the Winter Wonderland. It's by Heidi Swain and it's a Christmas book. Yes, I know, we're in October, but I'm not much of a reader. <laughs> so this will probably take me up until Christmas. So it's best that I start now. So it's really good already. I just, I'm a sucker for something that's a bit of a like slushy, romantic book and anything that's got snow in the picture i'm all over it i'm i'm there so that's my book and then um the other thing is um podcasts um i've always listened to podcasts um but they were more based on like nutrition and and things like that um but most recently i've been listening to um giovanna fletcher's happy mum happy baby podcasts whilst i take the dog out or well, actually i was listening to uh one whilst cooking the dinner last night whilst the kids were doing lego or something like that like that last night so i thought oh i'll cook the dinner whilst listening to one um and it's nice having the telly on because sometimes it can just be so repetitive and mundane and also it's just so annoying at the moment with coronavirus i'm sick of hearing about it all um so the giovanna fletcher um podcasts are really really good but also yesterday um i listened to another podcast uh the joe wicks one with joe malone oh my god i was sobbing it was so sad it was um her basically talking about her um breast cancer journey um and it was just really sad heartwarming and sad and just as a parent it's it it was it was really good really really good so i did i um if you haven't listened to that i would it's um because she's an aspiring lady inspiring um so i would listen to that anyway i feel like i've rambled on enough now that is my october favorites and uh, like i say i'm going to be doing a bit more vlogging which i'm really excited about i'm really going to get into it this time because i have so much time on my hands i feel like i can do that so please like this video and if possible subscribe and leave some comments would be really nice um it's it you you don't know what it does for people's confidence when you leave lovely comments it really is nice Thank you very much. I'll see you later.